they quickly rushed towards princess safira and began to mock her saying that being blind does not mean that princess safira had to also be stupid to fall in love with a mere beggar once upon a time in a very big kingdom lived a blind princess named safira princess safira was the last daughter of a very notable king she was born blind and has lived her life through the eyes of her trusted maiden umi umi has been the personal maiden of princess safira since she was a child and she has used her words to paint mental pictures of what the world looked like to the princess who wished she could see the world through her own eyes one day princess safira asked umi a very strange question am i more beautiful than my sisters she asked in a hushed tone and umi fumbled with her words as she stuttered saying that the princess was radiant in her kindness and her inner beauty shone brighter than any external appearance could princess safira could deduce from umi's words that she was not as facially beautiful as her stepsisters and this broke her heart as she realized that she was not only blind but ugly Princess Safira, low in spirit, retired to her room sad. Umi felt so terrible about all that happened. She tried all she could to convince the princess that she was beautiful, but all her efforts proved futile as the princess knew Umi so well to know when she was lying or saying the truth. For days, the princess locked herself up in her room as she refused to leave the palace. One hot afternoon, a poor beggar visited the palace to ask for the princess. His name was Malik and the princess had always been so kind to him. Princess Safira loved to take a stroll around the village in the evenings and on one evening, Whilst the princess was on her stroll, she came across a poor beggar who pleaded for food. Filled with compassion, the princess rushed back to the palace with her personal maiden Umi to bring some food for the beggar. The beggar, whose name was Malik, thanked the princess for her kindness. From that day, Princess Safira always ensured that she carried some food on her straw to give to the beggar who always sat at the entrance of the village market since malik did not see the princess for some days he was worried and came to the palace looking for her princess safira's stepsisters amina and zara caught sight of the beggar and confronted him asking what he was doing in the palace the beggar then revealed to them that he came to the palace in search of Princess Safira. This revelation made her stepsisters laugh so hard as they mocked Safira for mingling with poor beggars. Princess Safira's stepsister Amina and Zara were so beautiful and poised. They had the best of everything and looked down on the poor as they only mingled with people they believed were of the same social class as they were. Princess Safira, on the other hand, never discriminated against anyone as she treated everyone equally. That afternoon, Princess Safira heard some commotion outside and decided to check what it was when she heard Malik's voice in the palace. She called out his name in confusion and asked what he was doing at the palace and malik revealed that he was so worried as he had not seen the princess for some days 
and came to check on her to make sure that she was okay. He then saw the sadness written all over the princess's face and asked the princess what troubled her. The princess then told the beggar Malik that she had not left the palace for days because she recently realized that she was not only blind but ugly. She explained how Umi tried to convince her otherwise but the thought of being blind and ugly troubled her greatly as she did not know why life had to be so cruel to her. Malik listened to the princess intently as his heart was filled with empathy for the blind princess who saw herself through the lens of others. Malik then spoke to the princess saying that true beauty lies within. He revealed that the heart of the princess shone brighter than any physical attribute as the princess was not only kind but compassionate and her actions inspired everyone around her. Princess Safira, touched by Malik's words, felt a warmth she had never experienced in her life. Days passed and the princess found herself thinking about the poor beggar Malik. She had fallen in love with a beggar whose kind words rekindled her sense of self-worth. Princess Safira looked for every reason to visit the poor beggar and they spent hours laughing and conversing. Umi, her personal maiden, noticed how happy the princess was with the beggar and asked if the princess was in love with Malik and the princess revealed to her that she truly was in love with him. Unknowing to the princess, her stepsister Zara and Amina were lurking in the corner when they overheard Princess Safira confessing that she was in love with the beggar. They quickly rushed towards Princess Safira and began to mock her saying that being blind does not mean that Princess Safira had to also be stupid to fall in love with a mere beggar. They laughed at her saying that they could never stoop so low to marry a mere beggar who was not of their class. Princess Safira's stepsisters Amina and Zara have always had their minds set on marrying the handsome twin princess who lived in a not so far away kingdom. The twin princes have been rumored to not only be the wealthiest princes around but also the most handsome. Princess Amina and Zara spoke to their father the king to put them forward as possible brides and also arrange a meeting between the princess and themselves and their father set up a meeting which was already around the corner. Princess Amina and Zara mocked Princess Safira saying that instead of her to look for a suitable prince who would be willing to take her on as a bride, she was focused on falling in love with a poor and wretched beggar. Their words, although harsh, did not bother Princess Safira, who was not focused on riches but the content of one's heart. The words Malik spoke to her the other day still rang fresh in her mind, giving her hope and the zeal to love herself regardless. Princess Safira saw herself always longing for the company of the beggar as she spent most of her days chatting and learning from his wealth of wisdom. Despite being a beggar and poor, Malik possessed the greatest wisdom the princess had ever seen and as the days passed, she found herself falling deeply in love with him. The day came when the twin princes were to visit their palace. Princess Amina and her sister Zara we are so excited and could not wait to meet the handsome twins that they had always longed to marry. They wore their beautiful dresses and adorned themselves with expensive jewelries. Whilst everyone in the palace awaited the arrival of the twin princes, Princess Safira heard some commotion in the palace. She rushed to check what was happening 
when she overheard her stepsisters raining insults on Malik. It was Princess Safira's birthday and Malik had come to wish her a happy birthday when her stepsisters caught sight of him and began to harass him. They called him all sorts of condescending names, saying that he was not supposed to be in the palace on a day when the palace was expecting a special guest. Princess Safira, escorted by her personal maiden Umi, confronted her stepsisters, saying that they had no business harassing Malik, who was her visitor, as Malik was important to her in a way that the twin princes were to them. As they were talking, the palace guards announced the arrival of the palace visitors. Everyone's eyes shone in amazement as they waited to see the handsome princess everyone had been talking about. To their greatest surprise, only one prince emerged and Princess Amina and her sister Zara felt disappointed as they were expecting the two brothers and not just one. As the prince drew closer to them, they welcomed him and asked where his twin brother was and the prince pointed behind them to Malik who they believed was a poor beggar. Princess Amina and Zara opened their mouths in shock as they could not believe that the poor beggar who they had insulted on several occasions was actually one of the twin princes who they had always wanted to marry. Princess Safira too could not believe her ears and the whole palace was thrown into a state of confusion as the twin princes announced to the king that they had chosen their brides. The king listened as the twins revealed that Princess Safira and her personal maiden Umi are their chosen brides and everyone opened their mouths in shock. Princess Amina and her sister Zara were now filled with regret as they wished they could turn back the hands of time to undo all the harm that they had done. That was how the blind princess and her personal maiden became the chosen brides of the twin princes who prioritized character over beauty in their search for wives. The lesson to be learned from this story is that we should not judge people based on their appearance as oftentimes good things come in small packages. Always treat people with dignity and respect, not because of what you hope to get from them in the future, but because it is the right thing to do. I hope you enjoyed the story. Like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.